send it Saturday at its fucking finest. Um, I can't actually remember how much I, I recorded, um, but to run you through the session, um, it was five rounds of um, 800 meter run, um, supersetted with 25 meters sled push at 200 kilo on the sled. Um, five rounds of that. Um, the, the idea is, to have your 800s at faster than race pace. I think both me and Chris managed that for all five rounds, which is looking brilliant. Um, I think my race pace roughly um, is about 4.30. So I was averaging, I think 4.05 to 4.10, somewhere around about there for all five rounds. Um, obviously round one was, was faster than round five, um, but as an average, it was around about that, that 4.05, 4.10 mark. Then we've done three rounds of um, dumbbell thrusters, 400 meter ski, 400 meter row, um, uh, three rounds of that. And then back upstairs on the treadmill to do four three minute efforts at a rough fucking race pace, just basically hold on for dear life. Um, and I think I was averaging for all four rounds. Again, on average, around about that 430, 440, call my mark, somewhere around about there, man, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, fucking delighted with that, man. Delighted with that. So, I need a pint. Good morning, YouTubes. Didn't pick you up after Saturday session because this one arrived Saturday night. She doesn't want to be on camera, but fuck her. I'll do what I want. Um, but it's on Monday. And I am caffeined up, hydrated, about to leave her with my dog. Call me a psychopath, but 
I think Kelpie will look after her more than she'll look after Kelpie, won't you, pup? <laughs> um, we have six 800s, six 400s, and then we've got strength later on, so double dose of training for you. Oh, what we're saying, team? Hope we're all good. Um, we're going to do a voiceover for the AM and PM session, so I really hope you like the sound of my voice. If not, then this is going to be about a six-minute clip of pure torture for you. Um, but first up, we had um, six 800s, six 400-metre efforts. Um, and this is a bit of a weird one, mate. It really, really is. Um, I was ready to go, heading to the gym. As soon as I got to the gym, started warming up. And I was like, you know what? I cannot be fucked. I was in my head a lot. Um, I was pretty fatigued from just the weekend. And I just could not be arsed. I really, really couldn't. But... You know, with six weeks to go, final phase of training until uh, until we race. You've just got to fucking show up and get the work done, don't we? So this is exactly what we've done, regardless of how I felt, regardless of me being a little bitch in my own head. Um, we still showed up and we still got the work done. 800 metre efforts were anywhere between kind of 350 to 3... Uh, no, 350 to 400 metre... Uh, four minute efforts... And then the 400 metre efforts were anywhere between, I think it was like 3.30 to 3.40, somewhere around about there. So all 12 efforts done, job done, get in, get out, regroup and then get back in for our strength session, which we are on to now. Um, a little change up within the strength work, we've pulled freestanding squats and we've opted for box squats from a 24 inch box, um, 3, 2, 1. For our top sets, um, we hit a, a 170, a 180 and a 190. So the goal here was to hit anywhere between the kind of 170, 175. So very, very happy that we, we exceeded that. Um, I've not box squatted in, in years. So these felt pretty good. Um, I know it's from a 24 inch box, but there's absolutely no need to go any lower than that. We just want to keep the legs strong in doing this. We'll certainly do that. So I was happy with them. Then after box squats, we moved on to some bench. Again, three, two, one rip um, scheme. We hit 100, 102, and 105. Um, moved fairly comfortable. Uh, we'll progress them going into next week. If we can get you know, 110 on the bench, I'll be fairly happy with them. Um, and then after um, squats and benching, we moved on to a little circuit. Five rounds, four time, um, 160 on the sled. Yeah, it was 160 on the sled. Uh, 12 metre push. No, sorry, 12 metre pull. 12 metre push. And then five devil press at 20 kilo. Um, I wanted to show you the, the full clip of this pull. Just because I see a lot of people being in a, a weird kind of rhythm with... Um, with their sled pull, they're trying to use their arms more than their legs. You got to understand your legs are going to be a lot stronger than than your arms. So, if you look at the technique I'm using, I'm squatting right down and I'm driving, um, almost like a leg press, um, to get the sled moving, and I'm using my body weight, um, I'm using my body weight to then help shift that sled. Um, I see a lot of people trying to go on sideways and, and try and pull it and rotate and things like that. Use your legs as much as possible. I hate when high rocks athletes or, or high rocks coaches try and find ways um, to save your legs. I'm doing air quotes here. To save your legs during the race. Like, you're running a fucking high rocks race. Your legs are going to be fatigued. They're going to be worked on those stations. Accept it and just work on getting your legs stronger um, build muscular endurance in your legs and I guarantee you, you're going to be a lot better off in the race. Yo, what was saying? This was the exact setup for uh, the nose voiceovers. A little behind the scenes clip there. Um, but mate, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I guess this is, uh, this is or that was, day one of High Rocks Manchester training camp. Wasn't this big massive motivation, no, let's fucking go. 
it was very, uh, I cannot be hooped training, but big take home message is training got done, training got smashed, training got ticked off to my current highest ability on that day. Um, and that's the Morton shit. I think with this training camp, what you're going to see, um, or what I hope to uh, to put across, isn't the the massive highlight reel Instagrammable sessions. Um, training camp's going to be fucking hard. There's going to be days where I'm just going to be really fucking tired. There's going to be days where I really cannot be arsed. Um, but what you will see is me showing up and getting the work done. Um, and that is what is the most important. It's not showing up when you're motivated. It's showing up when you cannot be arsed. Those are the sessions and those are the days that make the biggest impact because everybody, everybody in the fucking world can show up when they're motivated. That's the easy part, but it's what you do on the days when you cannot be arsed. Um, those are the, 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 the important days. And that, yesterday, mate, is what you've seen. Um, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Welcome to High Rocks Training Camp.